happy vlogmas day one my hair is wet because uh, uh it was morning shower day i'm wearing quite a christmasy ensemble well black but i've got a red long sleeve shirt and a green shirt over top i opened my two i have three advent calendars two of them are like well one's a 12 one's a 15 then one's a 25 day so my 12 is a nail polish advent calendar and i this has two coats this has one coat so you can actually see the difference there i love this highlighter color it reminds me of high school when you would take sharpie that's what i meant not highlighter when you would take sharpies and color your fingernails did anyone do that oh that was someone yelling outside but anyway so today's color is called tinsel time and look how cute honestly i love mini nail polishes because i i've never gone through an entire nail polish ever I do actually, I have another color that's very similar to this. I'm gonna actually put them side by side sometime. Um, and I wore this for my, my prom senior year of high school. So this color has like special memories. So yeah, really like that. Um, the brand is Lights Lacquer. She is, I've talked about her before. She's um, a YouTube influencer. Uh, started in makeup. She's done lots of collabs. She owns her own company um, called Light Lacquer. And yeah, so super excited about that. And then the yarn advent calendar, I only have one this year, um, is from Sweet Sparrow. I just love her advent calendar so much. I just really like it. So this is my second year of doing her advent calendar. I was thinking about doing two, but then I just... I just didn't. Um, you know, advents are kind of expensive. Not kind of, they are expensive. Um, I hear my work headsets, huge, right? I just, I like the over the ear, though it does look really stupid on conference calls. But you know what? I like it better and that's what matters. Today is actually kind of an exciting day. I was going to decorate for Christmas. You can see all the Halloween decoration is gone. I was going to decorate for Christmas today, but my Xbox came in. So I need to drive to Best Buy and I have to figure out which Best Buy it is because I ordered. Yeah, so I, I managed to get the new Xbox Series X and I couldn't get it delivered. I think it's because of the bots. Um, a lot of robots were buying up the Xbox and the PlayStation. Um, so the new consoles came out this year, like a couple weeks ago. And it's been a nightmare to try and get them. Um, I tried multiple times, not shows, websites crash what have you you literally you've got five seconds and then you can't you know it's sold out again because the bots get to it so anyway best buy was doing it so that you had to pick it up whatever that's fine so i'm gonna go pick it up today and yeah then when i come home i'll set it up and probably play something i'm interested to see how it looks on my tv i don't think I have a 4k TV so that's gonna be next up on my list of things I want to buy is I will probably sell my TV and get a 4k I'm a little weird maybe this isn't isn't weird I don't like having a TV in my bedroom I just don't I just don't like that so I don't have a TV in my bedroom I did have my TV from college I was so proud of that. It was like the most expensive thing that I had purchased for myself because it was like $350 and that was a lot of money back then. Um, 
and I had had that in my, I put it up in my bedroom. I didn't turn it on once. So I decided to just sell it. So yeah, um, I have a feeling like I love that TV cause it's big. I probably am going to go even bigger because why not? Um, I'll, I might have to move all my plants though. Yeah. So that's what the plan is for today. I'm going to finish working. I still have many, many an hour to get through because it's only 930. Um, I'm drinking Santa's Secret. The best tea ever. It's so hard to hold my phone without a case. Look at that zit. Ugh. It's all I see whenever I do a video right now. Um, it's five o'clock. I am, I'm part of the party planning committee for work. So I need to really get on that. And I was looking at my paper to start printing off some of the activities we're gonna be doing. Um, but anyway, I just got an email, like literally right at five o'clock. I think it was timed to be sent at five. And it gives an update on my work from home status. So previously, we were supposed to, so I work permanently, not permanently, I work 100% from home. And I have since March. I started my job mid-November. So we are coming up to, well, I've already hit my one year mark, but we're coming up to me literally not being in the office for a year with a brand new job. But um, we were supposed to be going 50-50 in January. It has been pushed out till June. I knew it was inevitable. Like I just knew that that January was, I mean, even in October, when did they announce that? No, it was before October. They, it was like in the summer. It was when I got my furniture. They had said they were gonna push it to January. And I thought, I don't know, that's flu season. That doesn't seem like we're gonna be any better. Um, and we are so bad here in the United States. So bad so bad i'm not gonna give the numbers but maybe i'll put them on the bottom of the screen because at this point these are my home videos but here are our numbers so yeah um june 1st 2021 and i don't think i'll even be in the office it's 50 50. who knows I haven't been in the office because I'm a contractor and I guess there's rules for like liability or something because I'm not technically a nationwide employee and I don't have like the same benefits and blah, 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 blah. So yeah, I don't, it's a weird year. It's just so weird. Just, what? Yeah. Okay, well, I'm gonna do some test printing and then we're gonna drive to Best Buy and let someone bring my Xbox out and put it in my trunk because that's 2020 shopping.
box. I'm excited. I'm also really hungry. I'm going to eat risotto. It is nine o'clock. I think I'm gonna set this up tomorrow because I don't feel like getting into that. We'll see. Maybe it's probably gonna need to update. I remember the last time I set up my Xbox, the one, I brought it with me to a hotel because I was still traveling. So I set it up in the hotel and that was horrible. So let's, let's see. Like I said, it's gonna, it's gonna want an update because that's just how things are. But I also have this package, which I'm so excited about because it's the release day of Saba Tahir's final book in the Ember in the Ashes series. 